Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's a pretty exciting day. I'm trying out the new on cloud monsters, so I'm really excited to see how I get on. As I said in yesterday's video, um, this is going to be um, just an easy week for me. So this is just an easy five mile run. Not going to be putting them through their paces like too much. But the really interesting thing is that my driver has got loads of stones and the on um, cloud monster, well, like most of the on shoes has like a big groove down the middle. So it'd be interesting to see how many stones I get stuck in there. But yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush because um, there's a big storm coming in for some reason um, and the wind's going to pick up massively. So I'm trying to get in and get out. I get out and then get back in before the storm comes. So let's crack on. Shoes are, shoes are lovely. Hey guys, so we are back from the run. Just did five miles, as I said, it's an easy day. So yeah, nothing too major. If I'm honest, I actually felt more tired than I than I would normally with like loads of miles um, in the legs. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk about these the on cloud monster and i'm gonna just say i've never worn on before but first impressions are important and they uh have definitely made a good first impression as you can see i've made them a bit dirty now um but yeah i was actually really pleasantly surprised that they're, they're not soft they're not like super cushiony so if you're after something like the invincibles uh the nike invincibles or i don't know hocker bondi then you're probably going to want to stay clear of this but if you like something that's going to protect you with enough cushioning um but also be responsive and this is your sort of this is your sort of shoe so i'm actually really excited to see what i can do kind of like a session in these with um like see how they perform because i wore them just for kind of you know five miles just nice and gentle and they were they were really nice the only thing was at the start of the run i don't know if it's just because they're new shoes <laughs> sorry about the parrot by the way um that they just didn't feel like they were gripping quite that quite that well but um that seemed to go away towards the end of the run and also i didn't get any um stone stuck in there so having looked at some of the specs they have got um this helion uh midsole uh, with the cloud tech i think that's what it's called um you can have to look up some of this because i'm not that familiar with um the on kind of in like their, their specs and stuff but i have noticed that it has got a speed board now i'm not 100 sure if that's a carbon plate or whether it's just some form of like one's equivalent maybe like similar to p-backs um that like nike use in their like dragonflies and things like that but yeah i could definitely feel it, it did feel like i had that like that poppy um responsiveness to them so for a for a shoe that is designed for kind of that that easy day that long run um and maybe some tempo work is uh, i think it actually has a really nice balance Lockdown was fine. I did have to do the runner's knot, um, but that was purely because of like, the laces were quite long. But then with the runner's lot, they were too short. So yeah, I couldn't really find a good balance there. Um, so yeah, you can see that's that's how long the laces are um, if you do the runner's knot. Um, so for those of you who don't know, the runner's knot is this where you just use the extra eyelet to make this little loop, and it just creates a bit more of a snug fit around the uh, around the heel counter. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be using these in a few more runs. Um, sometimes I can be put off. Um, buy a shoe straight away but i'm trying to keep my mind open um and first impressions were really good so yeah i'm gonna have a little, little look at um the specs and stuff uh, before i kind of hit 50 miles in the shoe and then once we hit 50 miles in the shoe i'll be back for another video and we're going to talk about um kind of once i've had a proper understanding of the shoe but initial reaction really enjoyed the fit um not too snug so they, they there's enough room at the front of the shoe i found um the only thing i would say is like a downside was my right foot and i, I don't know if it's just because maybe like an easy week and i know a lot of people believe that um on easy weeks it's when you start getting all your niggles um 
but on the outside of the right foot, I was just getting like a pain, like here. It was making my foot almost like numb, and I've never had like I haven't had that. Um, definitely not recently, anyway. Um, so yeah, whether that's down to the shoe or whether just maybe because I haven't been doing as much running um, or what, but yeah, it will be something that I just keep keep an eye out on, um, just on the outside of the shoe. But apart from that, it's a really nice looking shoe. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed running in it, so I'm definitely going to give it its um, its proper time of day and wear it in future runs. So. Yeah, thank you very much again to On um, for sending these to me. I'm really excited to, to see how I get on with them. And obviously, all of this sort of stuff really helps the channel with um, just getting some more miles in so I can carry on filming um, and things like that. It just create, uh, helps to just keep the cost down a little bit. Um, because unfortunately, I don't make money from YouTube. Um, not yet, anyway. But that's, that's not really what I do it for. I do do it for the enjoyment um, and sharing a community with you guys. So um, all these freebies are really nice. Uh, speaking of other freebies, I got sent um, a couple of hats from Varga, Team Varga. I've had a, uh, I've had one four, and they just said, uh, "Would you like some more?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know what, go for it." So, um, so I'll be wearing these at some point in future videos. Um, I know these are really good hats, so I don't really need to do a review on these specifically. Um, but yeah, really nice and breathable, nice and light. The only thing I don't like about these is the short peak. The short peak is just not really a bit of me. Um, but that's for when I wear it forward. When I wear it backwards, it makes absolutely no difference, right? Because it's not keeping anything out of my eyes. But over the summer, when, when it's quite sunny, I do prefer like a bit of a, a longer peak. The width, perfect. But the length, I prefer a little bit longer. So that um, the, that midday sun doesn't go in your eyes. But yeah, thank you to Team Varga as well for sending me those. Um, we'll definitely get lots of use. Yeah, overall, really uh, good first impressions with this shoe. Um, I wasn't able to post this video until today, which is quite lucky that I received them yesterday anyway, um, just because they were kind of embargoed. So I've seen loads of YouTubers, mm, pardon me, loads of YouTubers with like embargoed shoes, and I'm like, wow, that's so cool. You've got a shoe before it's technically released. And I'm finally one of them, I, I, only a day early, but I, I had it a day early, so yeah, really cool. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for more running content going to... Um, the Manchester Marathon this weekend and the £300 voucher from the Stafford um, Half Marathon. I'm going to be spending that this weekend as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to take you with me and you, you can see what I, what I pick with my with my £300. Um, and yeah, just going to try and make a bit of a, a race day vlog out of it. And um, even though I'm not running, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna try and have a bit of fun. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share with your own buddies. It's free for you and it means a lot to me. I'll catch you in the next one.